Does social security planning even matter? I mean, come on, just turn it on and take your money and move on, right? Well, I guess if your name was Ida May Fuller, it absolutely does not matter. And you're like, who in the world is Ida May Fuller? Well, it turns out Ida May Fuller was the first recipient of Social Security. January 31st, 1940, she received her first Social Security check and it was issued to her. She was the first one to get a check. And her check was a whopping $22.54. Isn't that crazy? Well, here's why Social Security planning didn't matter for her. It absolutely made no difference, and let me tell you why. During her working years, she contributed approximately three years into the program, and the total amount that she put in from taxes on her paychecks added up, you ready for this? Added up to a whopping $24.75. So wait, during her three years of contributions into the system, she put in $24.75. Her first check she got back $22.54. But here's the catch line. She went on to live, she retired at age 65, she went on to live to age 100, bless her heart. She collected, think about that, 35 years worth of checks of $22.54. During her lifetime, she collected $22,888.92 in Social Security benefits. Now, I want you to think about this. She put in $24.75. She took out $22,888. Now, who watching this right now believes that you're going to have that kind of return on what you put into the system? Let's be very clear. Social Security is not an entitlement. You have paid into the system. I have paid in a whopping ton of money into the system. I've been collecting, they've been collecting Social Security on me since I got my first job at age 13. And I have paid in a ton of money. When it comes to Social Security planning, the idea behind Social Security planning done the right way is I want the most money back from the Social Security system of what I put in. The reality is, if they would just write me a check for everything I've given them, I would take that. They don't even need interest on the money. Just hand me a check for everything I gave you, give it back to me, and I'll be happy as I can be, and I'll go invest it or do with it what I choose. That's not gonna happen. But when it comes to Social Security planning, every single person that is paid into this system needs to have a written plan for how they're going to take Social Security so they can maximize their benefits with the idea being, let's get back the most of what we put in. It's never going to work out for you or I like it did for Ida Mae Fuller. But we definitely need a plan. Think about it this way. This is where the big box retail financial firms are absolutely failing their clients. All they talk about is investing your money. Well, I'm a wealth manager. That's what we do. But there's so much more to it than that. Think about all the money you paid into the system. Now you're going to retire. How do you get that back in the most efficient manner possible? How do you pay the least amount of taxes on your retirement? You're not working with a true retirement planner if they don't talk to you about taxation. Not only taxation on your investments, but taxation on Social Security. Why haven't they helped you structure a plan that allows you to pay less money or less taxes on Social Security? For many people, the day they quit working may be the time they should start taking Social Security, especially with all the changes that we know are going to come to the Social Security system. But we need a written plan, and it's not a one-size-fits-all. It has to be one done based on your goals, your dreams, and your hopes. Social Security planning matters.